there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking love and marriage, Huntsville. You guys know why you are here. Today we are talking, boys. We need to discuss um, some new information, allegedly, uh, that is coming down the pike regarding uh, this cast. Uh, what am I talking about? What has happened? What, what are the trending topics right now pertaining to Love and Marriage Huntsville besides all of the other tomfoolery that continues to take place on a daily basis? I uh, Well, two things. One, uh, shout out to True T. She did a video uh, basically, I uh, you know, saying, hey, um, whack with the QUE isn't what you guys think it is. This, you know, R&B party event uh, that Funky Dineva is coming to have is giving. Uh, we are only open for uh, when the cameras are rolling or when there is an opportunity to be, you know, money to be made. Uh, still allege that the license expired last year. Still allege that this business actually is still closed. That is what uh, True T is reporting on her channel and that there is some tomfoolery, that there is some smoke and mirrors taking place. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about that. Also, Carlos King, once again, right? Um, so Queen Sheba has an interview coming out today with Winter from Love and Marriage DC uh, that is not a good look. Uh, from Carlos King. We'll have to ultimately wait and see what she reveals in this interview. However, from what is in the trailer, uh, she makes a comment that Love and Marriage Huntsville and Love and Marriage DC were supposed to be sister shows and called her Melody Holt at the time, meaning uh, potentially, uh, and it's giving Mariah Huck, which is why I am so agitated because Carlos has the audacity to prop up Mariah and, and try to say she was wronged at Bravo and that they stole her show from her, they stole her spinoffs from her, they stole her credits from her. Only to do the same thing allegedly to Melody Cherie Rogers, you boys. Only to cut Melody Cherie out of the spinoffs, you boys. And also downgrade Melody Cherie's level of producing, right? I, uh, you know, versus who's the executive producer versus producer and all of the things. And, and it's just disgusting. It, it is absolutely disgusting. It is giving, you know, what Candy Burr has talked about for so long on, on how Carlos King moves, on how you give him an idea. And next thing you know, he's trying to take the idea to a different level than what you originated it to be. And not only that, tries to cut you out of the money and take full credit for everything. No, 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 Right? Uh, so, so this is very unfortunate. I had a feeling, because I was very confused as to why we never saw Melody Shree Rogers' name uh, as a producer on these spinoffs for Detroit and DC. But if Carlos basically just, you know lied to Mel, allegedly, and made it seem like they were all in this together to uh, do all of these things, uh, and only for it to not happen, it's not okay. It's not okay at all. So, um, so nonetheless, we got to talk about it, though. We have to talk about it because we need to find out, okay, what do you guys think about this? What do you think of these allegations? What do you think of the allegations that Black with the QUE still very much is closed, no matter what they're trying to say or do, uh, and is only quote unquote open for paid events or if the show is filming? But apparently things are still expired, although they are pretending that it's not once it got exposed by the YouTubers. And what do you think, allegedly, of Carlos potentially stealing, uh, you know, well, not potentially, I mean, we're, we, we see what it is, right? But basically cutting Mel out of her rightful spot and check for the credit for these spinoff shows that are on uh, the own network, but perhaps since the ratings are failing and people are quitting the other shows and being ignored for 10 months anyways, maybe it's not going to matter. 
maybe the show is not going to matter at all. Uh, so there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.